What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to The Coach Plays. In this video, we are diving into Joe Flacco, who has helped turn around the Cleveland Browns season and is a big part of the reason why they are headed to the playoffs. And so let's just go ahead and show you exactly what Joe Flacco has given this Cleveland Browns team. Early in this game, they're in their third and 15. They've got a tight, condensed trips set to the left here and in this long third and 15 set, the Jets are just going to go with a deep quarters action. And Flacco is going to take what the defense gives to him. And he's got some playmakers around him. With a couple vertical routes downfield, Njoku's just going to chip and release. He recognizes the linebackers are pushing off into a deep hook curl zone. He dumps it off to David Njoku, who does the rest. And it's a big third and 15 conversion on the first drive of the game. Jets do bring a nice twist stunt right there, but Flacco gets it out of his hands quickly, and that allows David Njoku to do what he does best. This one is later in the drive. They're going to run a boot action to the left after this pre-snap motion. Going to give trips left. Nub side is to the right, and Flacco does a really good job of flipping his hips and putting this in a very dangerous spot. But an incredible throw. You're going to be able to see it a lot better from the end zone view. Like I say, he does a really good job of being able to flip his hips completely around. That way he can place this ball exactly where it needs to be. A little boot fake here. We'll stop it right there. He squares up his body nicely. And you can see the tight window over Mosley, the linebacker for the Jets, for David Njoku. But he is able to just place it right over top. And Njoku has to make a really good adjustment, but he does. And now, just like that, they are in the red zone for a goal line situation. Now, on this one here, if you are a defensive coach or if you just love defensive football, you might want to look away because if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. And that's exactly what the Browns are doing here. David Njoku really is not even running a route. He's just running what you call a nice little, you know, pick pick screen and they're going to get a nice little leak flat out of their running back and off of that pick screen makes it very easy but Flacco does a really good job of peeking the opposite way just to hold the safety for a quick second check it deliver it and there's six So on this one, this one's kind of tough for to see what the Jets are trying to do. It looks like they're in a cover one man, but Mosley, who's on the left side B gap, he's going to bounce out and now try to track David Njoku, who's coming across. Just puts him in a really bad situation. Njoku's able to get a step. Flacco's able to just put it out there in space. Njoku's able to do the rest, but it's just, you can see the demeanor that Flacco has, gets into a nice easy drop, and just barely floats this ball, but puts it in the exact placement where it needs to be for his athlete to do the work. If he puts this behind him, he gets tackled, but he puts it right out in front, just like a veteran quarterback who's been doing it for many years. Now guys, it's that time. If you're liking this video, hit that thumbs up. Always helps us out. Subscribe, help grow this community. Join the team, join the fam. Appreciate you very much. Back to the video. Okay, so now this one's gonna be a fun one to watch. You're really gonna be able to see Joe Flacco's brain and his process of going through the progression system here. They're going with a traditional mesh. He's really trying to throw the center route, sit route by Tillman. First read's going to be the back out the backfield, but this linebacker is going to jump it, and that's going to slow them. But you're going to see how patient Flacco is. Okay, check the back, not there. Looking for one to two, trying to hit that sit. It's not there, so then he throws it to his third read, which is Elijah Moore coming across the side. You're going to be able to see it even better from this end zone copy. Like I say, you're going to check the back first, and he's really trying to hit number 19 Tillman right there on this center field sit route. Check the back, try to be patient, patient, not there. Slides his feet ever so slightly and dishes it out there nice and clean. If you like that one, you're really going to like this one. This one kind of took social media by storm a little bit. Talking about one of the prettiest fakes of all time. This is play action football at its finest. They're just going to run a play action counter from under center. And Joe Flacco, you're going to see, you're going to be able to see it 
much better from the end zone copy, but he switches the football into his opposite hand to make a really better, like an incredible fake. Then he's going to turn his shoulders around and he's going to hit his wide open man down the field. But you're going to see it very nicely here on this end zone copy. I'll freeze it for you. But as he gets into his play action fake, I mean, look at that. That is dirty. Now switch the ball to his right hand, put it on his inside hip. He's got his left hand exposed out there. You can see the linebacker's eyes. It frees them just for a half a second. And he's now able to flip his hips, roll it out, and throw this ball on the go. That way his receiver doesn't have to slow down at all. Perfection. So just a couple plays later, they go with a pre-snap motion. And what that just identified for Joe Flacco is man coverage. Sauce Gardner, the best defender for the Jets, is traveling with David Njoku. So he's going to go to his number one man beater, which is this quick out route by Elijah Moore. Very tough to defend because at that point... He uh, that defender doesn't know if he's making a breaking out route, breaking in route, a sit, anything like that. Now a well-timed ball, that's tough to defend. He places it out there, and that's six. Now I'm just going to let this one play out. While there's a lot of great that Joe Flacco's doing, not every play is great. Right here, this is a great play by the defender for the Jets, and Flacco ends up throwing a pick six. And while Flacco has... Thrown for over a thousand yards in five games. He's thrown for 13 touchdowns, which is more than like six NFL teams this whole season. He has thrown his share of picks. He's thrown eight interceptions. This one's a pick six. But I, I think he you, understands his role. He's got an elite defense, and he knows that he can take chances. He just has to complement what this team has going for him, and that's an elite defense and a pretty dang good running game, uh, along with the skill that he's got outside. Elijah Moore, uh, you've got Amari Cooper, David Njoku. Hopefully Moore's okay and they get Cooper back healthy, but he's got weapons. So, But now what this does show you, is the Browns have a Super Bowl winning veteran quarterback who, while other quarterbacks have to throw in that pick six, it might really rattle them for the rest of the game. It does not for Joe Flacco. This is just two plays later after throwing the pick six. He's going to get pressure right at the face, but he's going to hang in there and he's going to throw a really good ball to Elijah Moore. This was the play that Moore got hurt on. Hopefully he's going to be okay. It was a scary scene, but you're going to see it right here in the end zone copy. Major pressure. He just threw a pick six, but he's not scared. I mean, he's honestly going out there with not a whole lot to lose. He was just recently out of football. He's honestly just going out there having fun and being a leader for this team. And this play right here is going to show you exactly how much fun he's having. It's, this is back vintage old school Joe Flacco right here. He's going to take a shot to the face. He's still going to be able to extend this play out. Look like he's going to run it. Then all of a sudden he's going to turn his hips, flip that ball out there for one of his playmakers out in space, and the rest is history. They go on to score the touchdown. It's I mean, look, this is not an incredible throw by Joe Flacco, but this is an incredible play by Joe Flacco. He's going to take the snap. He's going to be looking at his progression down the field. He's going to take a shot to the face right here. I don't know how in the world they did not call this, but they didn't. He somehow stays on his feet, rolls out to the left, and then looks like he's about to run, but then he recognizes that he's got his running back just drifting down the field. Float it out there for him. Let him go make some money, dude. I mean, that that's all Joe Flacco is doing at this current moment. He's simply making plays for this football team. Joe Flacco might not be pretty, he might not be flashy, and he might make some mistakes, but he's doing more good than harm. And I honestly think this team, they they need Joe Flacco at this moment. It, it sucks that they lost Deshaun Watson, but I feel like this team was kind of playing Deshaun Watson ball, and it wasn't really working out too well earlier in the year. They needed someone who can play off their strength. That is a really good elite defense. They've got a pretty good run game. They've got some skill guys out on the perimeter. They just need someone to facilitate the ball, protect the ball for the most part, and be able to sling the ball down the field. This is a veteran quarterback. He's won a Super Bowl. He's got a big, strong arm. Still at 38 years old, I believe, he can throw it in the cold weather. And it's an exciting story to see what the Browns are doing right now. Clinched a playoff berth. Let's see how far they can go. Let me know what you guys think about Joe Flacco and the Cleveland Browns in the comments. As always, guys, appreciate you watching. Stay humble, stay kind. Peace.